guys so you're watching the sterilizer filling up at the moment I'm going to be sterilizing some bottles So basically today is Friday and I have just finished sorting out the doll's nursery, the reborn's nursery and um, I found three baby bottles in Emma Jane's dolly baby box. Yes, I did. So they are dirty. And so I am going to sterilise them. I really love this old fashioned steriliser. I'm so, um, so pleased with it. But you just make sure that you follow if you're, um, I'm using this, but if you're, um, you know, a real mummy and you're watching this, please remember that this for me is just a bit of role play. A bit of fulfilling my empty nest um, needs, and um, I'm so I'm not following the manufacturer's instructions. I keep didn't have got bubbles like this when my kids were small. I should have put some. T I got some tablets actually. I should have used them really. I bet Auntie Sam is watching me laughing her head off. I met up with Sammy at Christmas, and she had this super duper. I don't know, crazy steriliser bits. Um, I don't know, it was, what was it? I can't remember guys, but it wasn't with water, it wasn't water, it wasn't steam, it was something else. Oh, ultraviolet, ultraviolet I think. Yeah, and there was also this, this cup in there as well. Let's see. This cup's good because it's everything comes off of it, so you can wash the whole lot of it. So you don't have to get any of it mouldy because once upon a time there was concern about baby cups getting mouldy. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this now sterilising. I don't need to do this because, like I say, it's just for my dolls. But I want to do this because it makes me happy. So there we go go in there it goes da 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 and you just push this in i think you push this in and you put other stuff on top of it like the teeth and things and it also keeps it down should have gone that way around i had a sterilizer like this for when my eldest daughter was born and that was so they didn't have microwavable sterilizers and that then and same with my other two girls there we go we're just playing at being mummies now <laughs> and I love it morning aunties it is Saturday today and I have absolutely as per usual no idea of the date maybe the 22nd something like that and um, you are looking at the lovely Felicity hoping to take her out today well I am going to well I just want to see how a camp how meat camper I don't have a camper anymore how the pushchair fits in the pram oh gosh rewind Good morning, everybody. It's Caroline and can't speak properly. <laughs> right. Good morning. You're looking at the beautiful Felicity. And I am going to try her on these. I think they're both actually going to fit her. These were from Auntie Sarah. And what I want to do today is take Felicity out. I've got to try out my, um, it's a 70 Mother Care Vintage. Um, I want to try out putting a push chair in my, my uh, car. I haven't done that yet. So 
I'm going to try that today and get me out of the house. Jeez, I just like I don't want to leave the house this week. <laughs> so I haven't filmed. Well, I have actually. I filmed a tidy up Tuesday yesterday and it will be ready on Tuesday. <laughs> oh, yeah, that fits you nice. Saying, Auntie Sarah, it doesn't matter about the little bit of um, lace here that doesn't fit. Mummy's actually going to glue it so it doesn't get any bigger. But oh, my goodness. See, oh, my goodness. Look at me. Can you see yourself? Can you? Look. It's got little ducks. So this was a recent Happy Mail package that we opened. Fluff up your hair. Say, so you look at her hair. So lovely. So fluffy. <laughs> so soft. So whatever mohair it is, it's very soft. Now, somebody asked me if I could say why I don't use products in their hair. I don't use products because it sticks in their hair and then you've somehow got to get it out. And you really, I particularly, let's see if I've got a little squish of water. No, it must be next door. I particularly don't like putting products in the hair because it makes their hair thick and, I don't know, sticky. And then, like I say, then you've got to wash it out. And I've had, Annie has been rerouted. That's why Annie now has lots of locks. Probably more locks than I'd like for her kit. But um, she's got lots of locks because her hair came out. Um, for lots of reasons, not just putting product on her hair. For the sun. Um Sun dries it out, so hence why I put hats on my babies. Sun also changes the colour because it bleaches. Another reason why I put hats on my babies. And um, undressing them, you know, undressing them and dressing them and not being careful of the hair. Uh, Flick, I've had her a long time now and I haven't had any problems so far with her hair. Because I think mohair is different to human hair as well. It's, it's a lot thicker. Um, it's fine. But it's like, I don't know, it just is different to me. might not be to you, but it is to me. And um, so, yeah, and then you've got to wash it out. And I just don't like washing it out. Um, I just don't like putting, like, shampoos and that on the hair and things like that. So, for me, the best thing to do is to use water. And I only wash their hairs maybe once a year because, obviously, they get dirty, like, Anything else if you have lying around. Like, for instance, I noticed my blinds yesterday. It was only last month that I cleaned my blinds. They're all dusty today. They're all dusty, I noticed, today. And so I'm going to have to clean my blinds again. So it's like that, you know. You've got stuff in your house. You dust and clean. Well, these are no different, are they? So um, I would only wash their hair, though, maybe once, twice a year. <laughs> and then I just try to use just water and for for like wiping them over I just use a flannel in water as well no scrubbing no scrubbing nothing like that so I hope that answered the question and um we're gonna see if we can get out in the van now shall I try I'm not gonna try the other one on because this one fits her this one looks nice so Auntie Sarah say thank you Auntie Sarah just has your hairbrush now it's all fluffy Hey, it's all fluffy. I didn't finish around the back, though. So you could just spray water if you want to get, like, a style. You want to get it back. You want to get some curls in it. Just use water. If you want to use products, that's entirely up to you, isn't it? But then I know people that have reborns and they do want to do all the hair washing and all of that sort of thing. And, you know, it's it's up to... We're, these are ours. We can do whatever we want with them. They're ours. Nobody else can tell us what to do or what not to do with them. You must do whatever's for you. Just be aware of the things that can happen. You know, like anything in life, though, isn't it? You can choose to do whatever you want. Just be aware of things that can go wrong. So I took her off this yellow dress. And would you believe the size of this? I'm going to tell you the size of it now. Naught to three months. And it is like, fits her nicely. It's naught to three months. That's just crazy.
in my shadow really well. I'm going to show you how Pushjara is in the boot. Don't ask where the baby is. <laughs> so it does fit in. Um, if the seats were up, I don't think it would fit in at all. Um, you could have one seat down. Just wondering if one seat, you could have one seat up, one seat down, and you could put the car seat in that side if it was up and rest that and just get this in better. But I just dumped it in there and it's fitted in there really well in my little baby car. So that was good. And um, yeah, we're here. We're here in their new, they've got a new facility, new, um, gosh, new property. Hang on, let me get this out and then I'll talk to you. There's your little knee Santies in the push chair facing Mama. And we are going down here to We Sell For You. So, I don't know if you remember, this used to be in one of the smaller towns near me, and it's where you can take clothes and they will sell them for you and they get a commission. So, basically, it's half and half. They're taking your stuff, your baby stuff, and then you get 50 they sell it, and you get 50% of what they sold it for. So, um, one of the things I want to look for today is a swimsuit for Annie. So I'll just show you, it's beautiful surroundings. So they did have the, um, like I say, they've moved up. I've seen them now move up. This is a third move. And they're much bigger now. It's here in this lovely area. And Grumpy's unit is just over there. I'll show you that later. Um, the one with that we, the business that we sold is just over there. And the Russ still works there, doesn't he? Um, two days a week, so. There we go. So you're on a little tripod, and I've wedged it onto the handle. So we'll see how it goes. Hello, hello, hello! Wow! What a beautiful place to have a business. Here are all the boxes that we remember. And um, they also do a ladies. Oh my God. Here's a table where they sort everything out. School uniforms. That's a nice little chair. Okay, we're done in there. I'm just going to walk around up here. I'm going to get a drink. There's um, just there. There is a, a, I don't know what you call it really. It's not like, it's like a farm shop. We have like farm shops here. It's got a refill, uh, refill station and got a sitting, seating area and you can get coffees and cake there. And you can also buy things there. <laughs> they do like recyclables. They do meats. There's a man in the local area who makes salami. So you can buy salami there. And um, I just walk up and around here. And I'll just give you a landscape. Now, in previous videos, you would have seen me come here. In previous videos. Um, because it's on an estate and down through there is a place where I used to walk the dog and that where I lived closer to here. I would bring Millie sometimes and we would do a little walking of the dog. And there's a lake down there. And so I would have bought Millie today. But, um, hiya. Yeah. I would have bought Millie today. But it's too warm for her just to have a walk. But... What I could have done was take her in the lake, but not today because um, there's fishermen there. I knew there would be. It's the weekend. There are men fishing down there. So I um, thought I'd better not. Anyway, can you see there's Russ's sign? Well, <laughs> that is our sign. Night electrical, controlling your power. 
So this was the business that my little love set up. And it was in this whole building here. And we were in this building for quite a while. And look at his view. It's beautiful, isn't it? So this is on Dillington Estates. There's a big house here called Dillington House. And all this land, these buildings, this property, they have farms. They have um, tenants in homes. They own all of this. And like Russ knows, knows them and that. And they're really, really good landlords. We've been like up to their main house. They're, they really do look after their tenants. So there was the little um, lake, but there are lots of fishermen in there today, as I expected, and they really don't want a dog jumping up and down in the water. And the big house goes all the way along, that's the road, goes all the way along to there. And the house now is, um, the big house, is let to the local council, and they run all sorts of like things there. There's also a restaurant, you can have, go and have a meal. So Russ, they do do that when they have their meetings here. So here's their building. That's their building, isn't it? Say so that's Grumpy. So this is the one we sold to buy the bungalow, which was always in our plan. Now I'm going to buy a drink. It's just started to dollop of rain, but you can buy all sorts of things in here. It's really nice. Right. Couldn't maneuver myself then. Beautiful. Hi here. I wonder if it's got a step that way. I don't know. Let's go in anyway. Hold on, do your hollyhocks, missus. There we go, we'll get Millie a treat. Beef hearties. Millie would like one of those. She usually likes this stuff. Uh, ox jerky chews. She usually likes that. Get some of those. Uh, I love those enamel pots. Enamel cookware. Oh, look at that. That's great. And then you've got your refill. Station for the cleaning products. There. This is now a big, big thing. You've got your net bag, and you can bring in any cartons. Next door, they've got the food one. This is the bamboo stuff. I have some bamboo plates, as does my youngest daughter. So this is like organic stuff, organic tampons there, liners, toothpaste. There's that. And then this is the other refill station. So you can just bring in your jars and get anything. And there we go. So I get you a drink. Hold on.
And these banana rice cakes. We'll have a few of these now and then we'll save the rest when we get home, won't we? Mm. Oh, mm. look at your hair. Look at your hair. Hey, look at your hair. Do you want any of these? Do you want any of these? Oh, do you want one of these? Come closer to Mama. There we go. You gonna hold it? Are you gonna hold it? Are you gonna no, you probably want your drink first, don't you? Oh, and he's can't see you. And he's just saying, "What day she is? There she is, and he's here. You gonna hold it? Hey, are you gonna hold it? Come on, you can do that. That's it. Go on. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you can go. Oh, I went at your nose. Yeah, it went up my nose. Oh no, aunties, it went up my nose. <laughs> there you go. You gonna have your bucket? You gonna have your bucket? There we go. I'll pick you up a bit, auntie, so you can see her. I'll show you where we're sat. Here we go. Okay. Say hello. <laughs> Mom's trying to take a photo. Are you gonna smile? And I will turn you around and you can see this is where we are. So down there is where we just went and bought some stuff. <laughs> and I think I'll show you that in a separate video than this one today. Anyway, I'm just waiting for my coffee. So I got a coffee and I'll show you what other bits I bought. A multi-pack of these. Me and Russ love these. Eat real hummus, quinoa chips, and lentil chips. I love these. So I got those. And this was what I bought for Millie. Ox jerky chews. So I'm hoping she'll like them. 100% natural. I'm hoping she'll like those. And that's it. Yeah, a cup of tea. These that you're not eating yours. Hey? Are you not eating yours? Hey? Oh you've got milk all down you still. You've got milk down you. Hey, don't dribble your milk. You're meant to eat your milk. Yes you are. Thank you very much, love Ta. You are meant to drink your milk. Yes you are. So I ordered a takeout just because they bring you can have proper cups, but I ordered takeaway. So the duty takeaway here. But um yeah. You're a sweet girl, aren't you? Out with mummy today. Hey, out with mummy today. Yes, you are. Russ is um working today, so when I told him where I was, he was like, Oh, get me some milk. Because they do farm milk. There we go, and just like that, we're home. Thank you very much for watching us, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>